What's up guys? Welcome back. Moving on with rational expressions. We have this word problem to solve here. So a course has two midterms worth 25% each and exam worth 50%. The first midterm, second midterm and exam was out of X marks, two X marks and four X marks respectively. If Alex got 12 marks on the first midterm, 36 marks on the second, 96 marks on the exam and a final grade of 65%, how many marks was the exam out of? Okay, so lots going on in this question. The algebra is actually not too difficult. It's more so just setting up the equation to solve. So let's start off with the first sentence. If a course has two midterms or 25% each and an exam worth 50%, how can you calculate the final mark? Well, you would take 0 0.25, multiply it by the mark that you get on midterm one, right? Because midterm one is 25% of your mark plus 0 0.25 times what you get on midterm two plus 0 0.5 times what you get on the exam. And that will give you your final mark. So that's how you can calculate your mark in any course. You just take the percentages. Now, remember these brackets here, they're going to be percentages. So you could take the percentages that you get on each um, task or each uh, assessment. In this case, it's two midterms and an exam and then multiply it by whatever weight each one holds. And then that weight has to be in decimals. And then you get your final mark. Now, these brackets here, they could be percentages, but they can also be decimals. So if these brackets are decimals, then this final mark is going to be in decimals. If they're in percentages, then this final mark is going to be in percentages. So it could be either or. Okay, so we have the general formula down and now let's read further what uh, information they give us. So they tell us that the first midterm, second midterm and exam was out of X marks, two X marks and four X marks respectively. So that means that midterm one was out of X marks and then midterm two was out of what? Two X marks and then the exam was out of four X marks. And then reading further, we're told that Alex got 12 marks on the first midterm. So 12 out of X was his mark here. So let's say that uh, this X here was 24, 12 out of 24 means he got 50% on the first midterm. We don't know what this is out of, I'm just giving you an example. So 12 out of X marks is what he got on the first midterm. Then he got 36 marks on the second midterm. So 36 out of 2X was his marks on the second midterm. And then got 96 marks on the exam. So 96 out of 4X gives you the exam mark. And then his final grade in the course was 65%. Well, notice that we could take these brackets here, right? The marks of each bracket and throw them in here. So we would have 0 0.25. The midterm marks was 12 out of X plus 0 0.25. Second midterm, 36 out of 2X plus 0 0.5, um, 96 out of 4x equals the final mark. And the final mark we're told is 65%. Now notice that these brackets here, they're going to be in decimals. So for example, let's say again, the x was worth 24, 12 out of 24 would give us 0 0.5. So the mark is in decimals, that's 50%. But again, it's in decimals. And remember, as I told you before, whatever these brackets are, this final mark is going to take that same format. So because these are going to be in decimals, 
then the final mark is going to be in decimals as well. Uh, as well. So 65% we have to convert to decimals and 65% is 0 0.65. You could also write it as a fraction. So 65 out of 100. Let's just keep it like that for now. And then after this, we could just solve for x and we can simplify these. So we can multiply these two together. Now this is 0 0.25, this is like over one. So you would multiply the numerators together. 0 0.25 times 12 gives you three. One times x is just x. So this is like three over x plus uh, 0 0.25 times 36 that would give you nine, and then nine divided by two gives you 4.5. So this, all of this here, simplifies to 4.5 over x. Plus, over here, 0 0.5 times 96 gives you 48. 48 divided by four gives you 12. So this would be 12 over x, still all equal to 65 over 100. And then uh, notice that these are common denominators of x, so you could add the numerator. So 3 plus 4.5 gives you uh, 7.5 plus 12 gives you 19.5 over x, and this is going to be 65 over 100. And then to solve for this x, you could just simply cross, multiply. So doing this over here, continuing it, 100 times 19.5 gives you 1950. 65 times x gives you 65x. Divide both sides by uh, 65 to isolate for the x, and you get x equaling 30. Now, what does this x here represent? x is equal to 30 represents this here. It represents what midterm 1 was out of. If you reread the question, first midterm was out of x marks. So x, the variable x, represents the number of marks the first midterm is out of. It's out of 30 marks. What's the question asking us, though? How many marks was the exam out of? Well, the exam was out of 4x marks. It was four times as many marks as the first midterm. So four times 30 exam was out of 120 marks. So that there is your final answer. So the first midterm was out of 30 marks, second midterm was out of 60 marks, final exam was out of 120 marks. And when you get your answer here, you can also check it. So what you can do, this uh, same formula, what you can do is actually plug in the, um, the values here. So first midterm is worth 25%. And Alex got what? 12 out of 30. X was 30. So 12 out of 30 is, um, is what? That's 40%. So we got 40% on the first midterm. Then the second midterm, 36 marks out of 2x. The second midterm was out of 60, so 36 out of 60. That there is 60%. And then the final exam, 0 0.5, got uh, 96 out of 120. Which uh, I believe is what, 80%? So got 40% on the first midterm, 60% on the second midterm, and then 80% on the final exam. And when you do this here, what you'll end up getting, if you plug all of this in your calculator, you'll end up getting 0 0.65 in decimals. That's the same as 65 over 100. Right? So that's when you know that your answer is correct. You could check it and make sure that you get that final mark that they gave you in the question. And also be careful what they're asking for. They're asking for how are, uh, they're asking how many marks was the exam out of 120. If they're asking how many marks was the second midterm out of, answer would be 60. First midterm, it would be 30.